Hi everybody, I'm Jack and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. Well, two days out from going back to Costa Rica and I'm just running around getting some errands taken care of and then I will probably to the later this evening need to start doing a little bit of packing. Um, having the new Vitamix, I'm going to have to pack that in my suitcase along with some other stuff I got on this trip. So um, yeah, it's going to be a little strategic there, like getting everything situated. Um, but I'm ready to get back. I cannot wait until Saturday. I'm literally just giddy to get to my market on Saturday morning. Um, I think it's summer now. I think the rains have stopped. I think it's going to be sunny days. I'm going to the market on Saturday morning and if no, no guests at the house this weekend. So if no obstacles get in the way, I'm going to be out naked in the sun with a lot of sugar. I'm just picturing being out there taking sun with about half a gallon of um, sugar cane juice. And mangoes and mammy sapotes. Oh my, Whew. I'll get giddy here, so I will stop right away. All right, just as expected, I'm seeing all the resolutions out there. You know, everybody's made the declarations and they're telling you how they're exercising. And I see people go getting it, and um, and everybody's real on point with what they're eating. Um, only thing I'm looking at is, and and this this the old phrase comes to mind. This is a marathon, folks, not a sprint. Um, I think people maybe buy it like a lot of people get excited and don't want to do too much too fast. I just hope they don't burn out. Um, I just wanted to do this video today because once you get to, you know, there's certain things. I, there's, there's this whole little kind of sensitivity issue and you don't want to step on people's toes. So you don't say certain things around certain times of the year. In other words, you don't want to put it in people's faces when it's already the holidays and or at the end of the year and they didn't get anywhere in the last year. I mean, you know, that's kind of tacky and you know, it doesn't serve anything to point it out. But early in the year, before no harm, no foul, but I want everybody that should potentially watch this video, I want you to fast forward to December 31st of this year, 2017. Um, you know, all I saw the last few days of this uh, last year was bitching and moaning and bitching and moaning. And then on the other hand, it was like all these declarations about how 2017 is going to be so much different, how you're going to do different in 2017, um, how you're going to be different. And already I'm starting to see some of the same people grumbling again. I mean, listen, what are you going to do? Are you just going to wait for things to happen to you? Or are you just kind of waiting around to be like, okay, when's this raw vegan thing? One day it's going to kick in. Or, or whatever, if you're trying to exercise more regularly, exercise regularly on an everyday basis, or, you know, at least on a regular basis, um, what you gonna do? Just sit around and kind of see if one day your body just kind of uh, sporadically, you know, just starts jumping up and exercising? Um, no, you're gonna have to actually figure out a plan. There I go with that boring plan again. You gotta, you gotta map this out a little bit. You kinda gotta have an idea of how you want to get to where you want to be at the end of this year, how you want, what you're going to do to accomplish the goals that you set for yourself, whether it's, you know, food related, exercise related, or even just goals in life. Maybe you have uh, other goals that have nothing to do with the health aspect of things, but there's, there has to be an active process in that. You can't just like throw a, throw a resolution out there, a goal up, oh, I'm going to lose weight and just wait and see what happens. And, but also too, you, you know, and I always use these as the examples. I still see people doing the Jenny Craig Weight Watchers approach. And why I like to use those ones is, even though they've, they've evolved a little bit throughout the years, theirs is a regimen. It is something that's meant to lose the weight. And in my opinion, the reason they gain the weight back is because it's just too thick. Tick, tick, tick. It's regimented. It's a diet. It's a program. It's whatever you want to call it, but it's not life. It's not like, you know, a diet is a diet. A diet is generally um, for a set period of time. And that's why those diets never work. And that's why that mentality never works. Because what, you can do them and you can lose the weight. Don't let anybody tell you you can't lose weight on a diet. You can lose weight on a diet but you're not going to live like that forever. And when you go back to just doing it on your own or eating like you ate, the weight comes right back on. Or a lot of times if it's uh, health issues or whatever, as soon as you get away from doing what you were doing, 
to correct that, it goes right back. So it's just, it, so that kind of goes back to what I was talking about with the gimmicks. And once again, listen to what people say. Listening comprehension, reading comprehension is important. It was like when I was talking about the gimmicks and I was talking about the juice feast. I didn't say, and I don't ever say, I don't throw them under the bus. I say they have their purpose. Listen very closely. God, people don't listen. You understand me? I'm not like totally saying you should never do one. There's reasons for them. But what I'm saying is if you're going to thrive on this lifestyle or any lifestyle, you've got to figure out something you can do day after day after day after day after day. It's not about things that you can do for seven days. It's not about things you can do for a month or even two months. It's about what you can do for the rest of your life. And that's why I think I thrive on the way I eat because I can do it every day. You know, it, it's sustainable every day. I enjoy it every day. It's not like I'm just kind of getting by for a reason to feel better, to be healthier, to lose weight. I, you know, I thoroughly enjoy everything I do every day, everything I eat every day. And it, you know, it works for me. So I just want people to look. Think about December 31st, and at least if, you, you know, at least if you don't take the advice of a lot of people out there and do it the correct way, don't be around next, don't be around it during the holiday seasons. I don't mean don't be around, but don't be doing the same thing. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. If you're not there again this next year, you know, we're, we're, we're talking about this stuff early enough in the year where it's basically still the beginning of the year. You got the whole, you got almost 360 days left or whatever. I don't remember the date today. But you got plenty of time. So if you're not going to figure it out and do it in a in a way that you can sustain it, keep it going all year and be where you want to be at the end of the year, just drop out the the next year. Don't sit around complaining and talking about how it didn't happen. Boo hoo! 2017 was horrible. 2018 is not is going to be better. 2018 ain't going to be better for you. 2017 isn't going to be better for you than 2016 if you don't do better in 2017. And what that another one of my boring uh, points that I always make: problem solving. Look back at 2016, figure what didn't work for you, plug the holes, correct things, and make it work. But come December 31st, 2017, you know, if you're not where you want to be, you really got no other blame other than yourself. We have to take personal responsibility. I was talking to my mom about that. We were looking at something on the news. This day and age, nobody takes personal responsibility for anything. It's somebody else's fault. It's a product's fault. It's this fault. It's that fault. But nobody actually wants to just look in the mirror and say, yeah, it was my fault. Um, that's one of the greatest gifts I think I've been given over the last five, seven, eight years at the age I am now is coming to a place where I can say that and have no problem with it. This, I, I caused this, this was my fault, or this is the problem and I own my problems. And that's the only way you're going to ever um, accomplish anything. Um, worth accomplishing. Anyhow, just my two cents worth. Kind of a rambling video today. <laughs> if you like this one, please give me a thumbs up. Hope you'll hit that subscribe button and come back and watch some more videos. And when you hit that subscribe button, click on that little bell right next to it and, and click receive notifications. And hope you're having a wonderful first week of the year. And hope you're having a wonderful first week of the year. Peace.